Uh, judges in Clark County recused jurisdiction, and so a judge in Madison, Indiana, in Jefferson County there, is taking over this petition, at least for the time being. The judge will have to decide whether to let this petition play out, which alleges Jamie undervalued his brother's home and sold it to his own daughter. Jamie, is this all a big misunderstanding? Jamie Knoll released from the Scott County Jail for a few hours Monday to attend a hearing. The Jefferson County judge only allowed audio recording in the courtroom. Amy Wheatley, an attorney for the three children of William Leon Knoll, alleges Jamie abused his power as executor of his brother's estate. Her petition claims Jamie gave his daughter Casey Knoll $36,000 of equity in Leon's old house before selling it to her at a discounted price. It's our petition that this estate be reopened and that we attempt to try to claw back some of the uh, fraudulent, fraudulently disposed of assets that were in this estate. Knoll's attorneys Zach Stewart and Larry Wilder did not deny Knoll did this. They just said Wheatley only had grounds to bring a civil suit and not to reopen the estate. Ms. Wheatley may be correct that she has a civil complaint that falls within a separate statute of limitations of six years that she could try to litigate separately, but this is not the proper mechanism. The judge says he'll release a ruling before August 12th. You know, if we have to do it in a private, you know, action against them, then that's what we'll do. Amy Wheatley said she's prepared for whatever she needs to do for this case to go forward. The judge will decide if this petition to reopen the estate can continue over the next 30 days. And there were also developments today in Jamie Knoll's criminal case going on in Clark County with a special judge. State police released more charges they say Knoll made after his initial arrest in November. The documents from Indiana State Police show more than $30,000 charged to a Utica Township Volunteer Firefighters Association credit card. That money was spent on anything from Uber rides, Cincinnati Reds season tickets, and dinners at a Japanese steakhouse in Clarksville. Then on a separate Sam's Club credit card tied to the fire department as well, he allegedly spent more than $15,000 at El Nopal, Star Sushi, and even possibly church donations. These charges all allegedly happened between Knoll's original arrest on November 9th and the day that he was sent back for contempt of court on April 9th. Knoll's wife, Misty Knoll, is supposed to have her final pretrial conference tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. There is a motion by Jamie's team to, or excuse me, Misty's lawyers to delay that, but there's been no ruling yet if that's going to happen. The judge will assumedly have to do that before 1.30 tomorrow. In the studio, Travis Breeze, WHS 11 on your side.